Hi everybody, it's your girl Sparkle Style, and today I am be talking about my Louis Vuitton collection. I started collecting when I was 16 years old. My mother bought me my first purse, um, which is the Pouchette, I believe it's called. So it looks a little bit like this, and it has a little handle, um, and very dear to my heart. My name is Vanessa, my real name, so... You know, Louis Vuitton is little Vanessa, so that's why I stuck with collecting Louis Vuitton. And this is normally in my, this is normally in my purse at all times. Uh, you know, got the lip glosses and the pocket colognes and perfumes and everything like that. So this is something that I travel with all the time. And yes, this was my first one when I was 16 years old. And I love it still. The second purse I'm going to be talking about is not really a purse. It's really odd because it's vintage now and I can't find what the name is anywhere. Um, very sturdy, uh, flat bottom. It has no pockets on the back. I wore the heck out of it before I went, you know, when I went to college and everything because I got it for graduating high school. And um, this is what I took with me to college. I only have one handle left. And the front is like this. It's supposed to, oh, look at me, all over the place. This is supposed to go inside the flap to keep it down. I like that, with a little handle, whatever. Nice little messenger bag. And I tore this bag up, like literally tore this bag up. So um, inside there's a big fold like this. Very solid, very hard, you know, the material that the Louis Vuitton is made of, this is like the hardest of all of them that I've ever come across. And then they have a, a thinner inside, so it's two slits, or for like bigger books and then smaller books, I assume. And then this part, like y'all, I clearly killed this, like killed it. Um, I don't know what I did, but the inside is now like stuck together. But, you know, it still zips and everything like that. And every year I say I'm going to go back to Louis Vuitton and have them you know, condition it and everything, but I just haven't done it. So, um, probably because I continue to collect and it's not that much of a need, but I want to go and get my baby taken care of because this was a gift for me going to college and also important. The next bag, it's nothing, nothing in here. This is the dust bag. I don't have a dust bag for the first two bags that I showed you, but this is the bag that I am presently using, currently using whichever you want to say, but this is the bag that I'm using right now, um, the Speedy. This is the next purse that I purchased myself after college. Um, it's got a pile of stuff. It's like one of my bottomless pits in here. It's really crazy. Um, and it has a little slit in here. It's like change or what have you. So, and also in here, that's Louis Vuitton, uh, is my change purse. I love this thing because in almost every Louis Vuitton, in every Louis Vuitton bag that I have, they have a little metal hook inside, right? So just like this bag, this has the little metal hook inside, and then you can just clip your keychain, change purse to it, so you don't have to dig all the way in the bottom of your bag to find your change purse. And um, I also have the little, you know, cards to certain stores like BJ's and Dave and Buster's, unfortunately. So that's what I put in here along with my change. And then I have my, I should have my wallet, child. Wait a minute. Now I'm buzzing because I don't know where my wallet is. Again, this is like a bottomless pit. Okay, so clearly I'm, oh, here it is. Now that's deep, that. Excuse me, my oils is falling. But yeah, so in the, in the far bottom, we found it. So, you know, it just has the three slits, a bigger one in the middle where you can put um, certain cards. I like to put my ID and stuff like that. And then the go-to bank card and then credit card on the other side. So the three slits, these are the two that I prefer to use because nine out of ten times a big wallet is too much for me because I'm carrying a purse anyway. Um, and then when I don't want to carry a purse, I don't want to have to have anything in my hand. 
so this is going to pocket i normally put it in here but as you can see it wasn't so i couldn't find it um going on to the next purse that i collected it's the oh maybe i should take it out of the dust bag i don't know i don't know i'm new to this whole thing All right so this is the dust bag and this is the delightful pm this is like my daily mommy bag for a very long time. Um, the PM is not small. It's not big. It's just enough space to be able to put a juice or two in with my kids or, you know, a book if it's envelopes, laptops, all kinds of stuff in here. So again, this is another bottomless pit. It has no structure to this purse. So you clearly have to make the structure for it. It's the canvas on the inside. What's really cool though is when you put papers and stuff in here you can close it like this it's no zipper but you have a closed latch right here and then also you have a side for where I can put my wallets and stuff like that with a zipper on it and the thing for my change purse is right under the um, the zipper part inside this one so again this is the delightful PM love this bag love it um okay and then the next purse is right here and it's the artsy i got this after graduating the academy i was super proud of myself so um my husband was like well yeah let's let's get yourself something that you're really gonna appreciate even more than the rest and like and use a lot so this is my daily bag for myself there's no pockets on the outside it's the blue artsy um and i believe it's the i can't remember like mm i believe it is this is not the biggest one but it's not tiny so it's enough for me and i love the gold hardware all my louis vuitton bags have gold hardware because i only wear gold um but guess what it's more slits in here i don't even know if i can show you because I don't even know how to get lighting in here properly but on this side where they have the little uh, logo on the inside to let you know that it's an authentic bag it has three slits okay yeah it's three slits here one two and three and then on the opposite side where they have the zipper inside pocket for me to put it's a lot bigger um it's very deep that was yeah that was a, a bobby pin it's very deep and you can zipper your stuff up and then on this side they there are three slits as well so you know you can put things that you're going to go to a little bit more than usual so the three slits right there um and then i love this little outside um part too it's like a little key ring some people use it as a key ring and then they put their keys in here so they can easily come out to get their keys which I don't understand because all my keys are attached to my car keys so am I supposed to drive with my purse attached to my car key I don't understand why but I like it um, as you know outside decoration to the purse and then even better again this is an unstructured bag but it has you know a kind of sturdier bottom because of these little metal things you don't have to worry about too much stuff rubbing on the bottom of the bag so yeah this is my artsy lover she's in blue and uh, while in Vegas I was carrying around my artsy and it was like super heavy and super hot outside and I really wasn't doing nothing but buying stuff and walking around with a camera so we slept until Louis Vuitton and I got the favorite PM um, and here's the additional strap that goes with it so this is the clutch you can either use it um, with just this metal part here which I like 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 you know I guess you could dress it up I normally don't or you can take this apart and make it into like a little wristlet kind of thing you know I guess 
So there's more than one. Oh, I dropped it. Excuse me. Or you can attach the um, strap to it and use it as like a crossbody. So this is normally how I use mine as a crossbody when I'm going to, you know, I'm going outside, I'm going walking, going shopping where I don't need a purse per se, um, you know, traveling and things of that nature. So mainly this is used when I'm going traveling or I'm going into the city with my husband and I'm not trying to concern myself with where I put my purse down because it's attached to my body. Um, so yeah, that's the favorite PM. And then for one special Valentine's Day, my wonderful guy surprised me with the Alma. And I love her too. I, mean, I love them all. I mean, who wouldn't love them? So this was my first structured bag that I purchased outside the messenger um, that I have. So I really like this purse. This was this didn't come with it. This was the first time that I bought like a little key ring for a decoration on the outside of the purse. I thought it just bring brought a little bit of life to the purse. Um, and the gold hardware, of course, and the handles. So this is it and the bottom she has her little four prongs or whatever so that when you put her down she's not necessarily touching onto she's not necessarily touching onto a table or anything like that because I don't put my purses on the floor I will definitely ask for a chair in the restaurant and be like um excuse me are you sitting there because my purse needs a chair uh Wow, earlier I said almost all of my purses had the inside metal part to put my key ring. This one doesn't, but this side here has no pockets at all on this side. But on the opposite side, there are two nice size slits. Okay, I can see this better. Maybe it's the color of the purse. Two nice size slits. Um, and that's it. And then on bottom list, oh! So, you know, another thing for my stuff to get lost in. Um, okay, so then we go to my last purse in my collection. Um, hint, hint, honey, if you're listening, my last purse in this collection. Because my birthday is coming up and I want some purses. Um, this is the Maurice. Oh my gosh. And guys, every time that I want to purchase a purse from Louis Vuitton, because this is all, well, every time I want to purchase a purse, I do a lot of research on it, make sure that I'm going to love it because I don't return and it's so much money that you don't want to temporarily commit and then go back and forth. I want to make sure that I like it. I want to make sure that it's something that's going to be a good addition to my collection. And wait a minute. When I saw this purse online, I was like, yo. This needs to be added. One, I don't have a black purse. And two, it was killing me. It was it's just gorgeous. Like I love it. It's so soft, right? It's it's super soft. And it's structured. So when I put it down, uh, you see, this one has the five things at the bottom, right? But here's the thing: when I put it down, the bag doesn't fall all over the place. And it has three separate compartments, which helps me to get through my purse a lot quicker so the rt was my main bay but you know i've been kind of cheating on her with this maurice over here i hope i'm saying that right i might not be don't quote me i'm just a collector not the maker um so this is what i use the front of my bag and this one right here all, all three parts zipper with gold hardware and this part here is open with the uh, canvas and it has two slits one two okay and then we have let me open this up and then I have the middle part yeah those was headphones so sorry um, the middle part right here canvas as well but on this part here it has a slit a big slit so inside the compartment there's a compartment um, which is really cool to keep yourself organized day to day and everything like that and then that was the middle and this is the back part of the bag and the back part of the bag is just 
it has no no slits inside or anything like that no no side pockets or anything it's just a reasonable amount of space i normally put my ipad in here um because it's quick to get in and out when i need to either read or give one of my children something to do so they won't be bugging me um so yeah that's my maritz that's my last one in my first collection and of course I have a little bit of luggage and these are the last two items that I have um, from Louis Vuitton all together these two so ugh. I have the keep all keep all 60 um, and I also have the hot stamps so this is a Valentine's Day present as well and I love it I mean she's like bigger than me and guys, I'm so sorry about, you know, the size and the background and everything like that. So, you know, as I continue on YouTube, I will upgrade my stuff so that I'll be able to showcase my materials and myself a lot better. But this is the Keep All 60. And it was hot stamped. You know, a nice little special thing that you do for your stuff when you go to Louis Vuitton. And then, um... To be honest with you, and this is really crazy, I've been trying to find the name for this. It's like a roller duffel, but I haven't been able to find it online at all. So I don't even remember what it was called, but I knew I had to have it because when I travel, I don't like to I don't like to give them my luggage. I like to have it as a carry-on. So and yes, it has stuff in it. So sorry. Um so again it was hot stamped with my initials in gold, my favorite color. And uh, it's a pocket right here in the front. Oh, I'm sorry guys, the keep all is just another bottomless pit. There's no pockets, slits or anything inside. But in this this luggage right here, it's um it has the wheels. And this is the only purchase that I've ever made at Louis Vuitton that I had a problem with. Um, this part right here, I don't know what it was supposed to do, besides come off but like after one or two times traveling it was done and maybe that's why it's not online anymore but this is normally how the purse um, the purse this is normally how the luggage stands up and it has the handle and comes all the way down and then you can zipper this part closed if need be and use it as a regular duffel like that um and sorry i got my bathing suits in here i'm sure you're not trying to see bathing suits in my regular um cosmetic bag okay so inside it's just a bottomless hole right one side has absolutely no slits in it at all whatsoever no slits and this side has one slit and two slits. There's two little side pockets there for you to put something else inside. I don't know, whatever you put in there. I normally don't use it. Um, and then boom, just the bottom, just the bottom of the bag. So yeah, that's it for my um, Louis Vuitton collection. Um, I'll probably be doing another one soon, fingers crossed, because my birthday's coming up and I'm expecting to get at least another purse or another purse because that's what I want. So, um, thank you guys for stopping by and, uh, staying the whole way through. I appreciate you for checking me out. Again, this is Sparkle Style. Please guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it and leave any questions below and I will be more than happy to get back to you. Thank you again for checking me out. Have a good day. See you soon.